Randy McKee here at Hockey 605, and I'm here with Keith Mellon, the Tournament Director here at the Boys Varsity State for the South Dakota Tournament. And we talked to Keith just a few days ago about the preparations that we have made, and it looks like everything's uh, going on without you. Yeah, Randy, it's been great. You know, our, our volunteers have been unbelievable. The fans have turned out from a lot of different places. We've seen good hockey, and as we said earlier in the week, our facility is able to host a great event. You know, everybody here has been saying, oh, wait till Saturday, wait till Sunday, you know, and oh my goodness, this place gets rocking. Yeah, we're getting really good crowds. You can feel the momentum building, you know. There's a little momentum up in this corner of the arena called the State Championship Trophy, and I think people are kind of high on that as we build towards Sunday, but today's been a great day for the crowds. You know, it's, uh, like you said earlier, the hockey has been fantastic, and you know, uh, I can't tell you uh, how much we appreciate all the hospitality that people have given us. We feel a little bit like royalty. Well, we're very glad to have you. Like you said earlier in the week, too, this is unbelievable. Yeah. The sport of hockey and the kids that are participating, we appreciate that. Certainly, we have other folks here that are helping us deliver a championship. It's all about student athletes, and so we appreciate the support. Yeah, it is about the kids. You know, it's uh, so great to see them out here doing everything they have, all the support they're getting in the stands and all the friends. But, you know, I see uh, a lot of soccer kids that go over to the state here to support their hockey. Yeah, you know, high school kids really do a good job of supporting each other. You know, they find out, hey, where are my friends competing at? We're going to go help out. Uh, you see these hockey guys in baseball, football, and soccer games too, so it's really a tight game. You know, there's new stuff in your running tournaments. There's new stuff that pops up every year. I thought that was a great idea that you guys put the opening ceremony last night so the kids didn't have to stand around on ice for an hour and a half. But you get a little bit of the fact that was. I put my head in there for a little bit. And, uh, what, uh, what are you seeing different this year than maybe you saw last year? Yeah, a couple of things. And I'm glad you brought up the opening ceremonies last night. We really wanted to shine the light a little bit brighter on those students that have achieved greatness on the ice but also off. We're able to accommodate a few more people certainly in a venue that really maybe enhances the level. So we got a lot of good feedback from around the state. We'll continue to try to enhance that. But secondarily, there are just some behind the scenes things too that we're trying to do to make sure when student athletes enter the arena, they know this is about them. And so the service side there is really good. We're always trying to expand the media coverage too, whether it's on the internet that you guys are doing or just some other on air interviews as well. Well, I'll tell you, it's a really good and fantastic event. Uh, we have one more big game to pay between the Rushmore and Ricky's out of the uh, contest. And then whatever we get tomorrow is going to be three very tough games. Yeah, it's always a bittersweet day. You know, nobody wants a hockey season to end in South Dakota, but it certainly is about that next level of competition. So tomorrow, we got a great game tonight. There'll be good crowds from both. Hopefully, it's a well played game. And then tomorrow, we start talking about who might be that state champion, who's going to finish third. And then those consolation champions are really important. Because the student athletes may have had a, a setback in game one, but they battled back to win their second game, so now they're playing for something. There's still plenty to play for for every player in this house. Yeah, I think, you know, as competitors, pride is pretty important. You know, and every time you put that uniform on and lace those skates up, it's important to represent your community the right way. And so these kids get that, their coaches get that, and that's why I think sports is great. Well, Keith, uh, thanks very much for spending some time with us today. I know you're running around here uh, putting out fires uh, for all your workers and uh, really do appreciate the few minutes. I knew we had to get you today because we're all going to be responsible. So uh, from uh, me and Carol and we are not going to play great. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, Our pleasure. Great to have you here. We look forward to the rest of the night. But once again, all the hockey fans out there, thanks for coming to Brookings. Come back tomorrow. If you haven't been here yet, come tomorrow. We'd love to have you. No kidding. There's a place going to be rocking. So uh, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you Sunday here. Thanks.